Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? You have been listening to the sounds of Tony Dodalo, and I am Martin V. Burroughs Jr., coordinator of the Oceana Sport Information Center, giving you some news highlights from Friday. And first of all, happy Fiji Day, everybody. Uh, starting with news. Rugby League. Brisbane Broncos call up PNG Kumu Colts. Papua New Guinea International Brisbane Broncos winger Xavier Colts has been named in a 15 man Maroons extended squad ahead of next month's State of Origin series. Four Gold Coast Titans players are named in the squad, the first time in Origin history that the National Rugby League Club has contributed more players to Queensland than the Broncos. In other news, in Olympic news, the Japan government advisor expects Tokyo 2020 related COVID-19 spike. An advisor to the Japanese government has warned the public should expect a rise in COVID-19 cases during Tokyo 2020. Nobuhiko Okabe, who heads the Kawasaki City Institute of Public Health, spoke to Kyoto News and said the gains would cause an increase in infection. In more news, we have nothing new for PNG soccer players in final showdown. They are played alongside each other or with the opposing side, so it is not the first time for reigning champions Lay City FC and Vitiaz United FC to go head to head. Kicking off the grand final height will be the third place playoff between MRDC, Hikari United FC, and PRK Gulf. Komara FC at 3 p.m. followed by the 7 p.m. Grand Final showdown between Lay City FC and Vitiaz United FC. Tickets go on sale. In more PNG news, we have the Basketball Federation PNG looking to do awareness on health benefits. The Basketball Federation of PNG is aiming to create an awareness on the health benefits of sports while it continues to deliver development initiatives around the country. Uh, in marathon news, specifically to Fiji, showcasing the beauty of Fiji and how the community spirit rallies together even when things are outside the control of mankind is the objective of Super Marathon Clubs. Fiji's toughest run, the Nomosi Marathon 2020, on the 17th of October 2020. The Nomosi Marathon 2020 will be the Fiji's first trail running event to include full and half marathons and a 10K race. The course will follow a stretch of a difficult track in the Nemosi Highlands used during the world's toughest race, the Eco Challenge Fiji. Now we're going to some rugby news. World Rugby appoints Joe Schmidt as Director of Rugby and High Performance. World Rugby has announced the appointment of Joe Schmidt as the organization's Director of Rugby and High Performance. Schmidt will head up a new department in the International Federation responsible for the high performance match officials and technical services functions, including player welfare as well as training and education. He will join World Rugby in November. Renouf, the awesome foursome who decides sudden death semis or semis in Australian Rugby League news. Finals football is where the big game players have the most influence and this week there's an awesome foursome that hold their team's premiership hopes in the palms of their hands. We saw a points festival in week one of the finals and I expect that to continue with the new rules and players fatigue resulting in more open football. In more highlights, we have in the UK Commonwealth Games, Inside the Games, 
No discussion yet over moving 2026 Commonwealth Games to 2027s, says the Commonwealth Games Federation. The CGF says no discussions have taken place over moving the 2026 edition of the Commonwealth Games to 2027. Hamilton, at present the only city to have declared an interest in hosting the Games in 2026, has been encouraged by Ontario Premier Doug Ford to look into the possibility of staging the event in 2027 or beyond. Moving on to more rugby news, New Zealand rugby boss Mark Robinson delighted with compromise for schedule change. New Zealand rugby uh, Chief Executive Mark Robinson wants to move on from the bitter dispute over the rugby championship schedule and is happy with the compromise his organization has reached. Robinson accused Rugby Australia of reneging on a commitment when the schedule was announced last month with a December 12 finish, meaning the All Black players and staff would have been required to spend Christmas in quarantine because of the mandatory two-week quarantine period for arrivals to New Zealand. In uh, Olympic news, ANOC, the Association of National Olympic Committees, to celebrate anniversary of World Beach Games in Qatar from inside the Games. The Association of National Olympic Committees is preparing to celebrate the one-year anniversary of the inaugural ANOC World Beach Games in Qatar. Doha hosted the first edition of the event between October 12th and 16th last year with nearly 1,300 athletes from 97 countries competing across 13 sports and 14 disciplines. On each corresponding day this year, ANOC will post videos and photos from the games across the social media channels and website. ANOC has also encouraged national Olympic committees to share their own highlights during the anniversary week. Again, this is Martin Burroughs, coordinator of the Oceana Sport Information Center, and this is a recap of, of the news on Friday. Originally, we had posted a video on YouTube and had to take it down for mic difficulties. Uh, again, uh, we do have some research available. Oceana highlights. Uh, this week, we discussed COVID-19 and its effect on sport. So if you would like a copy of that research, please go to our website at usp.ac.fj slash OZIC, which is O-S-I-C. I'll repeat that again. That is usp.ac.fj slash OZIC, O-S-I-C. Or you can write us by email requesting a copy of our uh, monthly research uh, newsletter, Oceana Highlights at OZIC, O-S-I-C, at Onoc, O N O C dot org dot F J. And thank you very much for Pina for sending out this uh, Pack News Sports Bulletin. And everybody, I wish you a happy day. And those in Fiji, happy Fiji Day once again. Thank you very much and have a good day.